हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कैसे हैं आप जैसे कि मैंने अपने पिछले वीडियो में आप सभी से प्रॉमिस किया था कि मैं एक फिजिक्स के लिए क्रैश कोर्स शुरू करूंगा जिस क्रैश कोर्स का फायदा सभी स्टूडेंट्स उठा सकते हैं जैसे सभी स्टूडेंट्स आप लोगों को पता है कि जो फिजिक्स है सभी स्टूडेंट्स के लिए एक टफ सब्जेक्ट अपेयर होता है क्योंकि हम उसमें न्यूमेरिकल्स अटैम्प्ट नहीं कर पाते या हमारा कंसेप्ट क्लियर नहीं है तो आज के वीडियो में मैं वही आपसे डिस्कस करूंगा कि हम 40 डेज के या सिक्स वीक स्टडी प्लान कैसे बना सकते हैं जिससे कि हम नीट एम्स का पेपर इजीली क्वालिफाई कर सकते हैं रिगार्डिंग द जे जे के एग्जाम के लिए हमारे पास बिल्कुल थोड़े से दिन है तो ऐसा पॉसिबल नहीं है कि शॉर्ट स्पेन में हम कंप्लीट अपना स्टडी या कम्प्लीट हम अपनी स्टडी कर सकें तो जे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए क्या है कि जे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए मैं खास तौर पे टेन टेस्ट सीरीज या टेन टेस्ट सीरीज के पेपर्स अपलोड करूंगा कि जिसमें पूरी कंप्लीट आपको कवर होगी ये उस पेपर को अटेम्प्ट करके आपको अपना तैयारी के बारे में पूरा पता लग जाएगा कि आपकी कितनी तैयारी है और वो जो टेस्ट सीरीज होंगी वो पिछले लास्ट टेन ईयर्स के पेपर से इंक्लूड होंगे तो उसमें से कैसे हम इजिली स्कोर गेन कर सकते हैं तो आप उन पेपर्स को लेने के लिए आपको मेरा चैनल सब्सक्राइब करना होगा यदि आप जानना चाहते हैं कि उन पेपर का क्या लिंक है या वो पेपर आपको कैसे मिलेंगे तो ये वीडियो आपको लास्ट तक देखना पड़ेगा सो so स्टूडेंट्स मैं अभी स्टार्ट करता हूँ ज्यादा टाइम ना वेस्ट करके सबसे पहले स्टूडेंट्स आपको क्या करना है कि हम अपना क्रैश कोर्स स्टार्ट करें उससे पहले आपको फिजिक्स की तैयारी के लिए एनसीआर टी बेस्ड ऑन है टोटल जो पेपर है आपका एनसीआर से ही आता है यदि आपके एनसीआर ठीक है तो आप नीट और एम्स का पेपर इजिली क्वालिफाई कर सकते हैं फॉर एनसीआर यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन द to solve the ncert problems there are lots of problems or there are lots of books from in which ncert problem are solved so go through those portions read the concept carefully and note down the formula in separate notebook so that you can remember the formula students for attempting the competitions problems just remember the concept or just clear your concept not cram the result because the problems which appear to be tough are just easier problem if your concept is clear then you can easily solve those problems third conclusion of the chapter in pdf format i will upload the conclusion of the chapter in pdf format with every video i will provide you the daily practice sheet this will remain our study plan in the first week in the day one we study about the dimension and errors in day two about the motions in day three graphs regarding speed velocity and acceleration vector analysis in the day fourth we will study about the motion in a plane in fifth day we will do the laws of the motions conservation principle their applications connected body problems and the day sixth we will study about the frictional problem students in the neat exam the questions from the dimensions there is one question but every question is of some details therefore it is the easiest lesson i will start from the dimensions in the this chapter we will study about the dimensions errors the measuring instrument burning clip and screw gauge the questions from these may come in the exam so if you want to see the link uh, for the for you have to see my video till the end student what you have to do i am going to start from the basics you have to remember the formula not the dimensions if you know the formula then easily you can write the dimensions of that quantity for example if we have to write the formula of the gravitational constant in its formula is f r square over m1 m2 because gravitational forces g m1 m2 over r square therefore when we solve we can easily obtain the formula of the gravitational constant students in plus 2 plus there are some quantities which have the dimensions of the time that is l over r l is the inductance and r over the resistance l into c with square root it has the dimensions of the t r c product it has the dimensions of the t and the inverse of t is frequency therefore r over l 1 upon root lc or 1 over rc have the dimensions of the frequency energy density 1 by epsilon naught e square it is difficult to find the dimensions but energy density is the energy per unit volume therefore if we solve this formula then we can easily obtain the dimensions of the energy density regarding dimension analysis 
I have uh, uploaded a video previously. So to know the basic or the details of the dimensions, you can see my that video. I am directly discussing about the problems. From the dimension analysis, we have to remember the homogeneity principle. That is, both sides have the same dimensions and we can add or subtract the similar dimensions term. And for the conversion, we will use the formula n2 equal to n1 mass power a, the ratio of the mass in both systems in given system and to find the system ratio of length power b and the ratio of time power c a b c are the dimensions of that quantity or the powers of that quantity which we have to convert from error analysis 95 percent questions comes from the percentage error therefore if a physical quantity x equal to a power m b power n root c into d what we have to do we have to find the percentage of the x what is the percentage in x percentage error in the x therefore the power comes in front that is whatever the power we have to multiply by that quantity m delta a over a what is the delta a delta a is the absolute error in a and a is the true value same power of b is n therefore n into delta b over b percentage 1 by 2 means ki c power 1 by 2 therefore 1 by 2 comes in front delta c over c and d have no power therefore delta d over d student remember one thing whatever the term may be in the numerator on the denominator we have to always sum of all these terms that is in order to find the percentage error we always add the percentage error of the individual quantities for example we can discuss the two problems from the dimensions the dimensions of a and b have to be find in the relation p plus a over b square b minus b equal to rt what are the a and b a and b are the constants whose dimension we have to find and p is the pressure and v is the volume as we have seen in the homogeneity principle that the similar dimensions terms can be added that is a over v square is added in pressure therefore it must have the same dimensions that of the pressure pressure have the dimensions ml minus 1 t minus 2 therefore a over v square must have the same dimensions therefore when we take the volume into the right hand side that is volume is l cube volume square l6 therefore its value will be ml 5 t minus 2 and the b is added in volume that is its dimensions must be same as that of the volume what is the volume l cube therefore the dimensions of the b must be l cube therefore option d will be right another problem we can take from the momentum area and time term that is if momentum area and the time are the fundamental quantity then the what is the dimensions of the energy whether it is p a minus 1 t p square a t p a minus 1 by 2 t p a 1 by 2 t minus 1 as we know the dimensions of energy is ml to t minus 2 therefore we have to find the dimensions of the energy in terms of the pressure area and the time the dimensions of the momentum m into v ml t minus 1 area l square therefore l is a power 1 by t and t is the t therefore the dimensions of the m will be p l minus 1 t when we use the value of l in terms of the a here we find that dimensions of m will be e a minus 1 by 2 into t that is we have to find the dimensions m in terms of p a t l in terms of a and t itself is t when we put all these value in this formula energy then we can easily solve that the dimensions of the energy will be p a power 1 by 2 and the t minus 1 we can take the another problem from the error analysis it is the important problem students in an experiment to measure the height of a bridge by dropping the stone into the butter underneath if error in the measurement of the time is 0.1 second at the end of two seconds then error in the measurement of the height of the bridge will be that is what is given we have to find the error in the measurement of the height of the bridge if a stone is dropped from the uh, from the bridge to the butter and error and it takes the time 2 second and error in the time is 0 0.1 second then we have to find the error in the measurement of the height that is what is the height 
what is the error in the measurement of the height students as you know stone is dropped therefore its initial velocity is zero and from equations of motion we know s equal to ut plus half a t square and for vertical motion acceleration is equal to acceleration due to gravity when we put all these value acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square t is 2 second 2 into 2 4 therefore we find that height will be 19.6 meter that this is the height and we have to find the percentage we have to find the error in the measurement of the height and when we talk about the error that is height will be 1 by 2 gt square or s equal to 1 by 2 gt square 1 by 2 and g these are the constants therefore these are not included to determine the error what have but we will take we will take the height s and the t square t that is power t as i have said earlier that power comes forward that is delta h over h error over true value power is 2 delta t over t means the error in time and the true time therefore error in the time error in the height will be 2 into h h cross multiply delta t over t true height is 19.6 we determined it earlier and time is 0.1 error and 2 is true therefore measurement in the height will be 1.96 meter students i have discussed the three problem from the dimensional analysis and i will upload a test paper for this for your practice by practice this paper you can improve your uh, dimension analysis questions and regarding the measurement measuring instrument we will use the measuring instrument vernier or the secure gauge from the vernier clipper as you know what is the formula of the least count one main scale division minus one vst and as you know 10 vst means that 10 vernier scale division is equal to 9 main scale division therefore one vernier scale division will equal to 9 over 10 main scale division therefore when we put this value in the least count we find that 1 over 10 mst what is the value of 1 mst 1 millimeter therefore in terms of millimeter it will be 0 0.1 millimeter and in terms of centimeter it is the 0 0.01 in this way we can find the least count of vernacular when we will talk about the least count we find the least count students by another way least count of the main scale divided by number of divisions on the one year scale what is the least count of main scale that is one millimeter how many divisions 110 divisions on the one year scale therefore its least count will be 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.01 centimeter and the complete reading what we are calculating from the vernier clipper main scale division plus number of divisions that are accurately coinciding with the main scale multiplied by the least count in this way we can find the we can find the diameter by measuring by measuring the dimensions that is the length height with the help of the vernier clipper Stu student here i am discussing one problem regarding the vernier clipper a vernier clipper has the one millimeter mark on the main scale that is least count of the main scale is one millimeter and it has 20 equal division on the Bernier scale which matches with the 16 main scale division for this what is the least count we have to determine the least count. what is student given 20 Bernier scale division are equal to the 16 main scale division that is 1 VST will equal to 16 over 20 MST and least count will be 1 MST minus 1 VST what is uh, 1 BST 16 over 20 MST therefore when we solve we get the 4 over 20 MST what is 1 MST 1 millimeter therefore the least count of this measuring instrument will be 0 0.2 millimeter student when we talk about the secure gaze it is the another measuring instrument what is the least count pitch divided by number of divisions on the circular scale and how we determine the pitch pitch is the distance traveled in the n rotations and the number of rotations that if we are giving the four rotations then number of rotations equal to four and the distance moved by the four rotations it is four millimeter divided by the four then we get the one millimeter the least what will be one millimeter divided by 100 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.001 centimeter complete reading from the secure gaze will be main scale reading plus circular scale reading multiplied by the least count we can discuss the problem from the screw gaze. A screw gaze gives the following reading. 
when used to measure the diameter of the wire. What are the readings? Main scale reading is 0 mm, circular scale reading is 52 divisions and 1 mm on the main scale is equal to 100 divisions of the circular scale. It is given. Therefore, we have to find the diameter of the wire from the above data. Main scale reading, circular scale reading, take and 1 mm equal to 100 divisions of the circular scale. Therefore, least cone will equal to pitch over number of divisions that is 0.01 mm or 0.001 cm. Diameter will be main scale plus circular scale division multiply least on main scale reading is 0 mm and circular scale division are the 52. Therefore, we have to multiply 52 by 0.001. Therefore, complete reading will be 0.052 cm. So, students, in this video, we have discussed about the dimensional problems, error problems and the measuring instrument just like the one clip and the screw case along with this video students i will upload the link of the test paper but i will upload only on the question series today and yes and day and and on next day i will upload the answer key with the detailed solution of that practice problem so students यदि आपको ये वीडियो अच्छे लग रहे हैं तब आप मेरे चैनल को ज्यादा से ज्यादा सब्सक्राइब करें और इसे शेयर और लाइक करें यदि आपको कोई भी इसमें प्रॉब्लम्स लग रही है कुछ भी आपको डिफिकल्टी आ रही है तो वो आप मेरे कमेंट बॉक्स में डाल सकते हैं मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि मैं उसका आंसर दे सकूं मेरे चैनल्स को ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर करें थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टूडेंट्स